Yo, 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 this is Jinx from Unleash the Underground. Today we got my man Modest here on 16 Bars of Fire. What's up, everybody? Let's go. You had a bad day, now go and make a new play. Think outside the box, get everything you want. I stay right above it, it's all thanks to higher thoughts. Yeah, it's all thanks to higher thoughts. Working hard's the motto, fuck when in the lotto. My girl got a body like a model, swallow. Stepping out my zone, but they can't deal with this bravado. I got a shell that's thicker than the ones on avocados. So, uh, you know, when we do these 16 bars of fire, we always start off with a fireball shot. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's get it. Let's see if we can do this without spilling. Fuck my life. All right. Shout out to Babe's Bar, man. They probably put hot sauce in that shot trying to fuck with me or something because I, I just choked on it. You know what I mean? So, uh, shout out to Babe's Bar, man, for letting us do this here. Showing everything. Shout out to HLR, David. And shout out my man Modest coming today. I'm yo, yo, what up, guys? What up? Uh, so, uh, that being said. Ah, what the fuck, Fireball Shot? Um, anyways, that being said, uh, what goals do you want to accomplish doing this music shit? Man, I uh, I just hope in one day to be making music and not have to work a nine to five because you know I'm doing the full time you know job what? shit and then I'm doing man. music at the same time. It's, yeah. it's a lot. It, 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 so. it does. It gets uh, overwhelming at times. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, definitely. I don't want to get like famous by any means. Just like underground would be cool and just making enough money to just be doing the music shit every day. That's all I want. There you go. And uh, what goals have you accomplished? You know. uh, well, um, I'm getting a lot more plays than I ever have over the past couple of years. Uh, I've got a new album coming out. It's been three years since I put something out. It's called Clouds. I'm working on it right now. Um, I haven't officially announced it yet, but I'll do that right now. It's coming out on February 26th. I'm having my album release show at Higher Ground in Burlington, Vermont. Hey, hopefully yeah. we get this out there before that sh you know, show. So you said the album's called Clouds? Yeah. Like Clouds, like Clouds? Yeah, Clouds in the Sky. Okay, okay. Uh, you want to touch base? Why you named it Clouds? And uh, so the album's about the past decade of my life, and over the past 10 years, I've lost a lot of people. You know, a lot of people have passed away, overdosed, um, car accidents, recipes for sure. Um, so yeah, that's basically, uh, the album's about my whole life over the past decade, but it's, it really centers on the pain that losing people has caused. That's dope, man. That's definitely uh, so. dope. I love when people bring that real heartfelt music back, you know what I mean? So it's dope. I'll definitely be on the lookout. You said February 27th? February 26th. February 26th. It's a Wednesday. All right, how many tracks on that project? Eight tracks. Eight tracks, so it's more like a small little EP type of thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's an album. Uh, each track is like five minutes long. Oh, okay. Got a couple interludes in there and stuff. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, okay. It's definitely an album. It's just short. Yeah, it's one of those short albums, but just short but to the point. Exactly. People understand. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's 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 fucking dope, man. You know what I mean? How'd you uh, get your stage name Modest? So I went through a lot of names, man. Uh, I started out as Industry. And then I and then I became Will Pay Bucks and like a bunch of other stupid shit. Um, and I was just thinking about how like a lot of rappers are just kind of like egotistical and yeah. like full of themselves and like it's all about being full of confidence and cocky in a way and just kind of saying fuck everything. And I was like, I'm not that kind of MC. Yeah, like I yeah. think I think deeper than that. So I was like, all right, modest, like modest. I landed on modest because I'm a modest guy. You know, so. I love it. I love it when you get that genuine answer and how to get the stage name. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like me, Jinx. It came from a Pokemon. I'm just kidding. It did not come from a Pokemon. <laughs> you know, if I fucking ain't that bitch with big tits, no, not me. Uh, nah, but yeah, I, I, I do. I do have a story, but I'm gonna leave that for another day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know, I love when it genuinely uh, an artist gets his his stage name. You know, that way. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. Instead of just some. Hip hypocritical shit, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So, for sure. Yeah, that's dope, man. So, uh, you, you do, you say you're doing a lot of heartfelt project, uh, songs on this project. Yeah. Now, uh, like more storytelling and all that type of vibe? Oh, yeah, I definitely got a couple stories on okay. that. On that now, album. now, Inspirations Nas, or where were your inspirations go from? Uh, Mac Miller. Mac, Mac Miller is huh? like my number one. So, you were freaking devastated, man. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, losing Mac was huge for me. I, I mean, I cried, man. I, yeah. I still do. I, I listen to his music and uh, feel that loss, you know uh, what I mean? Did you hear his new project, uh, Circles? Right? Circles. Did you hear it? Masterpiece. You loved it? Oh, I love it, man. That's good, man. It's so good. Uh, uh, it came out the same day as that. How'd you feel about that, you know? I mean, I woke up, you know, I didn't, I knew that Mac was coming. I had no idea that M was coming out with his album. So I wake up the next morning and I'm ready to listen to Mac and then I see, oh shit, I got Eminem too. So I was like, all right, I got a, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a day yeah, yeah. ahead of me. You know what I mean? See, some people are taking it as like, <laughs> Eminem, you're fucked up. You released it on the same day as Mac. And then some people are taking it as like, you know, if you like both artists, right. listen to all the music. You know what I mean? For so, sure. I'm curious as a big fan of Mac Miller, what was your take? Take on it. Excuse me. No, you're good. Uh, excuse me as well. Uh, for me, my reaction was I was happy. You know, like Mac was huge to me, and Eminem was huge to me at one point in my life. I'm not, I'm not a diehard M fan anymore. Honestly, I uh, yeah, yeah. I like his stuff, but yeah. like I get his album, I listen to it a few times. You know, I hear the songs I like for a while, and then I just kind of, I don't really go back to it. But him releasing his album on the same day as Mac, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. So people simmer the fuck down, let M live, you know what I mean? Like shit, you know, it's all right. Yeah, um, sure. Rest in peace to Mac Miller. The, the album was dope. I also listened to it as well. Uh, his style is definitely different than all other styles. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, you have to have that fire taste for it. But uh, yeah, I love both of those albums. So salute to M and uh, Mac Miller. But uh, if you had to work with an artist that was still alive, rest in peace to all the great ones, who would it be? Oh man, who would I work with? Uh, I would love to do a song with Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa, huh? Fuck yeah, yeah man. You gotta get into detail with that one. Why Wiz? Okay, so when I, coming up as a kid, like, I didn't, my family didn't really, like, let me listen to rap. Like, it was kind of like, my family was like, you can't listen to that, it's not good for you, like. You know, don't listen to that. So, for most of my younger years coming up, I didn't listen to a lot of rap. I got into high school, and I was kind of a, a snob when it came to music. I was, I was into punk rock back then and stuff. So that's really all I like would mess with. I didn't. Everything else was trash to me. But then I started listening to everything, and rap became like a big thing for me. Uh, when I first started listening to it, I'll be honest. I started with like Lil Wayne and, and Drake. You know, and I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is different. This is new to me. And then I discovered Wiz and like I got his uh, flight school project. And then I got his burn after rolling project. And then Cabin Fever came out. And like that is when I decided like, holy fuck, like I've been missing out on this. Like yeah. this rap shit is something special. So, shout out to Wiz, man. Shout yeah. Out, you know, that, that, that's, that's cool. Now, um, you said your family was really against it. Do they know you rap now? Oh yeah, oh yeah. My dad. Are they okay with it? Yeah, of course. My my mom loves it. My dad supports me fully, a hundred percent. Like, so it's it's a completely different family. Wow. Now. Uh, time, 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 time. Shout out to that train in the background. Yeah. Shout out to that train. Loki, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> From the guy who loves horror movies, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that, that, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. But it's cool to play, and uh, it's funny how how the, the craziest things inspire people to do craziest things and then all of a sudden your your family's okay with it all you know yeah I mean? yeah like, for sure how does that make you feel as as an artist uh, it makes me feel really good i mean so coming up like i was saying i you know i i listened to a lot of music but it was more punk rock i i taught myself how to play guitar and all that and so and they always supported that but then when i moved out and started doing my own thing i started doing the rap thing like i told my dad and he he thought it was awesome so it makes me feel good. It's well, good. I am personally glad that they are cool with it because you're you're definitely a dope artist. You were on one of my ciphers, Unleash the Underground ciphers as well. Thanks, bro. And Thank uh, you. Yeah, you skipped one on me. <clears throat> I'm gonna explain that story, but uh, <laughs> you definitely uh, you were on one of them and uh, you killed it. And you're definitely a dope artist. I'm looking forward to your project, Clouds. You know what I mean? Thanks, bro. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. So. Um, performance tonight? No, man, I'm just here to support the team and support you, you know? Shout out to uh, HLR, you're part of HLR, you know what I mean? Hustle, loyalty, respect, all right? Don't fuck with it, all right? This is what we do, 802 crew up in here. Yeah, that's what it is, man, (laughs) so uh, that's what's up. He's here to support tonight, but um, definitely uh, when you perform, 
when you do your recording, when you do your writing, all that stuff. Right. What is your best part of it? Performing. Performing? Yeah, man, I love performing yeah. more than anything. That's why I do it. Yeah. You know, I don't care if I'm getting paid yeah. to perform. I'll do it on the street for no money at all. Yeah. Oh, you just love that I crowd just, reaction and for sure. the support. Now, um, do you notice, because you know, now it's a little different nowadays, right? So a lot of things based off of social media, this, that, and the third. Uh, do you notice uh, the difference between performing and having dropping your, your songs on social media? Like, do a lot of people react on social media to your songs? And um. You know, like, at first, not at all, but uh, now, where I'm at now, like, pretty much every time I drop a song now, I get a pretty good reaction. Okay. A lot, like, a lot of people, it, you know, it may not always be a good reaction, but I always have a lot of people putting putting their input in and saying how they feel about it, which is what I think any artist would want. Yeah, as an artist, that's what you want. You want people to relate to your music, mm -hmm. and then enjoy your music, and then, uh, you know, vibe with you, you know what I mean? Day, you know, so yeah, and once sure. they do that, then you're golden as an artist. You feel the best thing to me is when you get that message in your inbox, like, yo, that song moved me, man. Like, mm -hmm. thank God I heard that song today, it just made my day, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that just makes you feel so much better as an artist, you know what I mean? It makes you want to keep going. So, you know, speaking of that, th those moments, have you have had any crazy, funny moments yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, for sure, like, uh. Drive and I came out with a song. I don't shout out Drive, my man from Jeffersonville. All right, badass motherfucker. But anyway, we did this song Control together, right? And I put it out on SoundCloud. Yeah, so I put this song out, and a bunch of people reacted to it and reached out. They commented on the track and said, "Hey, this is dope. Like, who are you guys? Like, where are you from? You know?" And it was like an engaging moment to tell these people, you know, we're from Vermont, and nobody really knows where Vermont is. So. Yeah, yo. And every time I mention I'm going to Vermont, they're like, Vermont? I'm like, hell yeah, Vermont is lit, you know what I mean? Vermont is lit, you know. They, you guys always show love, and I always say, and I'll always continue to say it, and I'll always, you know, whether or not uh, I get the support out here or not, I'm still always going to support Vermont, you know what I mean? I feel you. Because I, I fuck with you guys heavy out here, you know what I mean? So. I mean, I think Vermont fucks with you too, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys, Vermont, you know what I mean? That's why we're here doing this, right? Hell yeah. So, uh... We're gonna, you know, Humble has been hitting us with some crazy fucking questions for the artists. So let's see what crazy question Humble got today. All right, okay, all right. Got Humble. This one's not too, too crazy, but I think it will have an interesting answer out of Modest. What are your artistic influences other than music? Okay, other than music. Other than music. No, so no mu mu musicians at all. So it can be like music, I got you. Uh, movies. No, 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 no murdering oh, or no horror. Well, murder can influence them. I don't no, care. No, no. <laughs> all right, so this is probably, as an artist, this is probably my favorite question I've ever been asked. So I'm, I am very humbly proud to answer this. I see what you did. You know no what? pun intended. <laughs> Give me the camera. Come oh. sit over here. I'm all right. <laughs> you know what? Come on. You want my weird ass Come to on. sit here? Come on. All right, get my goony ass in here. Ah, how's it going? I'm going to... All right, so go ahead. Here's ask the thing, the question. I have to... Um... Ask the question one more time. Yeah, yeah let's hear it. <laughs> ask the um, question one more time. So modest. What are your artistic influences other than music? Other than music, you say, humble. Hmm. Well, let me tell you, By kids. the way, please oh, don't you... call me humble. Listen. It's Mr. Among. Mr. Among. L you got it, sir. You, you gotta say it's your favorite question of all time, so I all got right, up out so of this seat for a reason. This is my favorite question of all time, posed by none other than Mr. Among. Now, he yeah, asked me, let me, me say it again. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, so my <laughs> biggest influences outside of music. All right, so number one is comic books. All right, starting with DC, Batman, Robin, Superman. All right, the Justice League, and then we got the Marvel comic what? books: Spider Man, oh, the X Men, okay, man. We the were... Avengers. That's my shit. But like, also like science fiction, Star Wars, the Alien trilogy. All right, we're just then we go into comedy with like Jay and Silent Bob, Kevin Smith. I mean, these are my idols. Stuff that I do, I watch this shit pretty much religiously on a regular basis. So. I've probably seen uh, Jay and Silent Bob 300 times in my life. That's not Jesus. a joke. So, yeah, you that's... You said you work, rap, and watch Jay and Silent Bob at the same time? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And also, I'm not done answering the question yet. Video games. Video games are a huge influence on me. It, when it comes to old school PS1 and PS2, that's where I was... 
Like that's a big influence on me. Xbox 360 is a huge influence on me. It's just like titles like uh, Final Fantasy, the Arkham series for Batman. Like it just it's never ending, man. Man, you, you fucking tickled something over here. <laughs> I didn't get this much expression out of any questions I asked. Today. God damn. Uh, hey. You know, uh, all right, let's just stick with it then. What's your favorite system, God damn it? Uh, Xbox for sure. Xbox? Yeah, yeah. Xbox all day. Okay, Xbox. So you ready, you ready for the, the new Xbox, uh, what is it, Scarlet is it called? Oh uh, yeah, uh, Scarlet I think. Or maybe I know there's, a, a, there's an Xbox fan in the audience right now. You know, cool. <laughs> shout out to Time Flock. Uh, so. He's an Xbox fan out there. He, he's telling me get out of PS. I mean, hey, but as much as I love Xbox, I also love PlayStation. I mean, you have God of War titles, you know. It's just, you gotta have a PlayStation as well. You gotta have the Nintendo Switch. You got Pokemon. I mean, Jesus, man. <laughs> so you just like, you like dabbling in all type of gaming. You like, kind of like everything. Kind of gives you that artistic feel, you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, last question. And you know, we're going back into the music, I swear. All right, let's Favorite superhero. Favorite superhero? Batman, hands down. I mean, technically, Batman's not a superhero, but Batman is Batman is my favorite. Like, he's a regular guy. He happens to have a lot of money. He's fucked in the head from what happened to him growing up, and uh, he's trying to punish these people doing wrong. He thinks they're doing wrong. He's not going to kill them though. He's just going to throw their ass in jail so they get let back out so he can do it all over. Again. Maybe I should become Batman because I'm a little fucked up in the head from my younger days. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I should become Batman, you know? Well, we can't What's both my be name? Batman. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, we can't both be Batman, bro. I don't know what we're going to do here. There was two Robins in the uh, last uh, show I watched with the... Uh, what is the name of that show on fucking... The Titans, the Titans show. Titan. Well, there's Titans, there's Crisis on Infinite Earths, there's Batwoman, there's yeah. Supergirl. Like, come on, man. There's uh, all that listen, shit. Listen, I'm done. I don't know all of <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. We're done with the superhero shit. We're on to the next question. Hey, um, they, this, the, the fucking superheroes took over the goddamn show. All right. We're going to get on to, uh, on each and every show, we do a segment where we have the artist. We pull up their artist page, and we pull up a picture from the artist page. That's the picture right there, and he has to spit a few bars off the top of the dome about this picture. All right. Modest, are you ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. Yo, I remember that day. It was me and Dave just having a couple drinks. We were hanging at Babes, the spot we're at right now. Yeah, we're bringing the table. I don't give a fuck, you know, we've the 802 with the maple. Got the leaf on my hat. Yeah, I'm smoking the weed. I don't give a shit. My video pretty soon on MTV. I got these nasty flows and these bars from the top. This is how I do my shit. This is real hip hop. Hey. Shout out to Modest. Make sure you edit that shit in later. Shout out to Modest, you know what I mean? Freestyling. <laughs> Killing it up here, you know what I mean? So you came here, you told us a little bit about yourself. You got the Project Clouds coming out, yep. February 26th, make sure you go get that. Hell yeah. You absolutely love super fucking heroes for <laughs> whatever, gaming, all that. Yep. <laughs> but all that shit don't mean nothing to me, because there's one reason why you're on this show tonight, right? Oh yeah. Are you I'm ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm very ready. You think he's ready? He might be ready. All Let's right. do this. There's a lot of people that say they're ready. Here's the question. Are All you right. gonna take uh, Beyond Insanity, which right. is 135, 600 Scover units? Okay. Let me get that here. Are you gonna take Ground Zero, which is 321,900 Scover units? Ooh, okay. Or are you gonna take the final answer? I'll wait till you're done with that drink because I don't want you to spit that shit up. 1.5 million scoping units. How big of a glob do I have to do here? Well, we do a toothpick, maybe. Toothpick, right here. All right, I'll take the hottest one. Oh my fucking <laughs> Christ! <laughs> oh, I hate these people on my show, man. God damn, he's not too modest anymore, man. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is bullshit. All right, so, modest, uh, he's gonna go the hottest one, man. Gotta change your mind in any form, shape, or. Anything? I, I can't change your mind and do something different? No, I'm just No, I'm doing this. Here's the thing. I'm ready. The reason why he's doing this and I want to change his mind is because I got to do it with him. And I did this shit five times already. I'm done. <laughs> All right, grab yourself a toothpick. Thank you, sir. Right. 16 bars of five, modest. Jake's, what you guys feeling tonight? All right. 
So because this is the hottest shit ever, it comes with a built-in, uh, you gotta help me call it, the, what is it, eyedropper yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, it comes with a built-in eyedropper. Eyedropper, okay. That's so, not going you know, in my eyes, right? Oh yeah, it could go in your eyes, you just ain't gonna see. You know what I mean? Then you'd be daredevil. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. No more Batman. No, 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 no. You'd be daredevil. No, 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 no. no. So what we're gonna do, because you can't follow the pace one's rule anymore, you have to put it here. Right here, like this, and then we okay. put the dum 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 dum. You know what? Give me, put your toothpick down. Let's do it this way. And then we'll just roll it up like this. All right. And then I just. And then, yeah. Here, go ahead. Throw your toothpick on there. I'm gonna just dr drop it right on the toothpick. No, no, no. Put it right here on the side. There you go. Uh, then we're gonna just drop it on. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> heavy. <laughs> nah, I can't have him do it. <laughs> Why'd you all do right. that to my uh, right. You know what? Because he's been killing me all night already. Huh? <laughs> all right. So then we're just going to wrap it around like this in the sauce. Do the same. I'm not going to touch your toothpick. All right. And then we're going to take the toothpick. And after the toothpick, we're going to count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. I'm actually going to ask my boy David Fair to help me out yeah, with, I the, like, I... with the countdown. Because last time I couldn't even breathe. So, um... David, you mind if you want to get in this? Yeah. Gotcha. Shout out to David Fair, HLR, baby. Shout HLR. To, yep. Uh, he's going to do the countdown for me because last time I, I, I couldn't breathe. So we're going to take this toothpick. He's going to do the countdown. He's going to spit 16 bars of fire. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh -huh. Cheers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one, get him. <coughs> <coughs> All right, here we go. Woo! <sighs> Can't finish if you don't start. Can't even talk. <laughs> All right. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Don't throw up, dude. No, I'm not gonna throw up. Oh, you're, you're good. You're good. You okay? We'll cut that part out. Don't worry. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Keep it all in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he took the one. <coughs> oh, shit. Major hiccups. Yeah. He took the hottest one, 1.5 million. You got a water for him? He already I took it. He got to spin 16 before he can get it. All right. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. My style's raw like when I fall off my skateboard. Fuck these new rappers, what you're saying has got me bored. I am modest, but I'm actually not. The way my mental keeps on working and producing these thoughts. The way my hands just keep on working and they roll up the pot. The way I'm hanging out with Logan and we listen to Pac. It's all an inspiration, influential experience. Not his baby, and I'm calling that the school of genius. Woo! Thank you. You know what? Give me that back. Take this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Nasty flow is what I'm bringing to the table, and you know it. All these rappers, bitches, and it's time to expose it. Rapping about women and cocaine blowing. Example to the youth, and this is what you're gonna show. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Shout my throat is on fire so bad right now. <laughs> Shut up, yo, watch your eyes. All that yeah, be stuff. careful. So I just poke my eyes. Can you eye see the like, eyes? Woo. You cry. <laughs> yo, a little bit, a little bit. Shout out to my boy Modest for coming up on this show. Modest, I don't know if you could talk, but uh, just let them know you did this at your own risk. I did this at my own risk. I'm dying. You're supposed to do that before. Okay, I know. It's all right. It's okay. We're going to let him know. He's doing it. He still did that. All right. Also, let him know how hot that shit really is. <laughs> I can't talk. I think I might die tonight. It's so hot. Uh, it's really hot. Uh, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was definitely hard to get through your 16 because you didn't make it through. Oh, yeah. He's like ready to get done with this interview, but yeah, he tried to walk off. We have to. We'll get him done right now. Shout out to Modest one more time. I know you trying to get the fuck out of here. 
Uh, I appreciate you coming on the show. Please let them know. <laughs> Please let them know one time where they can find all your music and all that good shit. Yo, Facebook, Instagram, Modest, 802, SoundCloud, same deal. Love you guys. I'm going to go die now. Peace, yo. Uh, oh, that shit's too hot, bro. So, yeah, so uh, that was Monty. 16 bars of fire. He had to leave. That was, shit was that hot. He had to leave. This is 16 bars of fire. So, if you're an artist, you want to get on this show, take the challenge. Hit me up. This is what it's all about. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm hurting bad. I'm hurting real bad.